Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Raiders here. The Grand Canyon, history of it. Let's check that out. One of the most amazing natural features in Western America is the Grand Canyon. It was created by Paul Bunyan dragging his axe behind him while walking alongside Babe the Blue Ox. Well, millions of years of water erosion probably sounds more feasible, but at the Arizona Ghost Riders, we've been known to enjoy tall tales. I'm Pegasus Bill! Eleven native Indian tribes have lived there over the centuries. In 1540, the first Europeans to see the Grand Canyon were soldiers led by Garcia Lopez de Cardenas. They were looking for the Colorado River and enlisted the help of some Hopi guides. Now, the Hopi didn't really want them poking around their lands, so they fooled the Spaniards into thinking the river they eventually found was not navigable. Cardenas really didn't want to do the Hopi pokey and turn himself around. So he took his army east to Texas. Maybe we should just go to Texas. 235 years later, the government was interested in this part of the Colorado River and why on all the maps it appeared to be uncharted. They sent First Lieutenant Joseph Christmas Ives of the U.S. Army Corps of Topographical Engineers in a steamboat to check it all out. For we need a little Christmas right this very minute. Well, he crashed it before he actually got there, but still ended up going 30 miles into the canyon on a smaller boat, then eventually on foot. Lieutenant Ives determined that the region is altogether valueless. It can be approached only from the south, and after entering it, there is nothing to do but leave. Ours has been the first and will doubtlessly be the last party of whites to visit this profitless locality. Yeah, Ives, I hate to tell you that the Grand Canyon gets over 5 million visitors a year with profits just under a billion dollars. Oh well. Geologist John Wesley Powell headed an expedition in 1869 with specially designed boats and a crew of mountain men and war vets. They lost one boat and eventually got to the last of the canyons before almost starving to death. But they did it. Not only was it a success, Powell's writings on the beauty and magnitude of the canyon attracted folks to the popular destination spot it is today. At this point, the documentation and the topographicking, um, that may not be a real word, <clears throat> is complete. In 1883, John Hance built a cabin in the canyon, making him the first European settler to live there. John made a great living guiding tourists into the canyon and developed the very first trail going from the top to the Colorado River. Before the train ran through the area, stagecoaches would bring you to the rim for one of these excursions. Nowadays, you can access it via foot or a burrow, but it's not for the inexperienced hikers. People fall every year and some die of dehydration. So, be careful and enjoy the magnificence of the American West and the stalwart trailblazers who made it possible to experience it. Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? Yeah. Well folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. <laughs>